Hi right, friends, welcome back to art class with Mr. Poulos. Today we are going to be making some Egyptian art, specifically an Egyptian cat. The ancient Egyptians found cats to be magical creatures, and they were treated like royalty sometimes, so they were even given their own jewelry, and when they died, they were mummified and buried with their owners. Pretty cool to be a cat in ancient Egypt. So let's get started. For this project, you're going to need a pencil and a paper, and I want you to hold it the tall way. I'm going to be working with a marker at first because it's easier for you to see. So in order to make our cat, I want to make uh, a rainbow line. I'm going to come down a few inches here, and I'm going to make a rainbow line that goes pretty much from the edge of the paper up and back down to the edge of the paper. So this is a nice wide rainbow. And then I'm going to do the same thing except upside down. So now it looks like a football. And they almost touch the edges of my paper. Now up in these corners, I'm going to make some ears for my cat. So a line that goes up toward the corner and then back toward the middle of the head. Like two triangle shapes. And inside each ear, let's do another triangle shape. Now, right in the middle of the face, I want to draw a triangle that points down toward your body. So it's like the letter V, and then connect those top lines. For the mouth of your kitten, let's do the letter W. So W, where the middle comes up toward the nose, and then the middle. For the eyes, let's do a rainbow shape on the left and a rainbow shape on the right. And now let's do upside down rainbow shapes. Looking pretty good so far. So cat's eyes are very special. They can contract their eyes to look like tall, um, tall diamond shapes or tall football shapes and they can open them up to be round so that they can see in the dark. When they open them up nice and big, they let more light in, and when they're out in the sunlight, they make them these tall shapes like this to block more sunlight. It's like built-in sunglasses. It's pretty cool. So let's do tall ovals inside of the eyes. And inside those ovals, let's add a little circle. Now I'm going to color the big oval black. That's the pupil. The pupil is the part of the eye that lets the light in. That's how come you can see. Next, we're going to add some jewelry. So I told you guys that they believed that Cats were magical, and they brought good luck, and they dressed their cats up in, in beautiful jewelry. And one of the things that they added was like this really cool necklace. So kind of like come down from the eye here, and, and just just where the under the eye at the uh, bottom of the face, and under this eye at the bottom of the face, it's going to make two dots. And make a line from that dot, and make a line from that dot. Now I'm going to connect those lines with a slightly curved letter U. So now it's time for us to do the legs of the kitten. So from here, let's bring a line straight down. And on this side, let's bring a line straight down. And make an oval foot and an oval foot. And I'm going to connect these with a rainbow. Inside of that rainbow, let's make an upside down rainbow for the kitten's belly. On this side, let's make the letter C, and it's not attached to anything. And on this side, let's make a backwards letter C. 
let's attach the top of the letter C's over to the bottom. Now I'm going to make a back foot here. So I'm going to come out and back in. So it's like a very long or very wide letter C and over here. A very long backwards letter C. Now let's just make a tail. So my tail's going to pop up. My tail comes from right above the bum, right on the back there. But we can't see most of that, right? Because it's blocked by the jewelry and the body. So I'm just going to have it poking out the side, give him a little tail. Awesome. Now let's get some details into our cat. Let's keep working on the bottom, I suppose. Let's do one, two lines in your paw. One, two. Let's do some claws. I'm just going to do a little triangle here. Let's do two lines on the other paws. One, two. One, two. And add some claws. Let's add some details to this jewelry. So I'm going to add another line that follows that bottom line. And I'm going to create some stripes on the, on the necklace piece here. So maybe four or five lines. One, two, three, four. Looks pretty good. Nice big spaces. And inside of these spaces, let's add some beads. So the beads can be any shape you want. I'm going to do some circle and some rectangle beads. But you can come up with your own beads if you'd like. And these are just going to be fun for us to color in a minute. Next, let's add a little piece of head jewelry. So I'm going to come down above those eyes with two lines, one, two. And I'm going to connect those with a rainbow line. I'm going to do that one more time. Line, line. Connect those with a rainbow line. So I've got a double line here. And in here, you can make um, more beads. You could make a picture of an animal. I'm going to add a little jewelry kitten right here. And I'm going to color this up really pretty in a minute. But you can add anything you'd like in there. So now my Egyptian kitty looks pretty good. I'm going to color it, and a lot of the Egyptian jewelry was gold, so you can use your yellow marker or crayon, and blue. They had a lot of a gem called lapis, and lapis was a bright blue color, so uh, you see a lot of gold and blue in their colors. You can also use black, um, so maybe I'll do some black shapes around some of these gems. And we'll see how this looks. So I'm going to fast forward through the coloring process. Um, when it comes to coloring your kitten, you can pick any color you'd like. You could give your kitten a stripe or a spotted pattern if you'd like. And let's see what that'll look like. And I'll see you guys in a moment. And there you have it. I think my Egyptian cat looks pretty cute. If you wanted to be a little silly and have your cat sticking his tongue out, that would be fun. If you want to add whiskers, that would be cool. You can do any colors that you'd like. I made another cat the other day, and now he has a friend. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this project, and I will see you next time.